Hello and welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're going to be talking about another component of machine learning workstation, and that is peripherals. So, of course, peripherals won't help or hurt your model accuracy when you're doing machine learning. However, I would definitely argue that having the right setup can make a difference in your ability to focus and keep cranking on machine learning. You're really going to want to be able to focus for an extended period of time to be able to wrap your head around some of these pretty difficult concepts. In my opinion, to really do machine learning correctly, you have to really understand the mathematics behind it. Sure, you could be one of those people that kind of treats SKLearn like a black box and kind of just pump data in and, and trust predictions that come out, but what's the fun in that? In order to make a lot of progress in the field, you're going to need big blocks, big continuous blocks of time, usually three to four hours at a time, I would say, to really be able to reach the deep work level required to advance and further your understanding. Don't take my word for it. Definitely check out this book by Professor Cale Newport. It's called Deep Work. It's an amazing read. It's really changed the way that I work and view uh, kind of furthering my career and how important big uninterrupted blocks of time are. If you're at all interested in deep work, definitely check out the link I'll put in the description. Really what I'm trying to say here is that having this uninterrupted time is important and it's going to further your machine learning understanding most likely. And in order to do that, having a comfortable setup really is important. That's the punchline here. Studying so intensely is already pretty uncomfortable for your brain. You have to really kind of lower that barrier for the rest of your, your body to not want to completely refuse to do any sort of machine learning uh, studying. And on top of all this, I'm definitely an ergonomics nerd. I love thinking about how I can kind of improve the positioning of everything in my setup. So I kind of wanted to discuss a, a few things things in the world of peripherals that I think will help. One of these is definitely multiple screens for your setup. So a lot of people use multiple screens, but what are we gonna likely have open for some of our machine learning workflows? Well, on one, we're probably gonna have either Jupyter Notebook or your favorite text editor, Sublime, Atom, whatever your, your editor of choice is. And then on the other one, you're likely to have some sort of reading material, perhaps uh, programming documentation, API documentation, browsing Stack Overflow. <laughs> I personally feel like having two monitors is the, the perfect balance of having enough screen real estate while also not going overboard. And really what I like to do as well is have one of them in vertical mode, one of them in landscape mode. And the reason for that is the vertical monitor, you're able to kind of see more cells at a time if you're looking at Jupyter Notebook, or you're able to see more lines of text at once. Yeah, so like I said, having those those two monitors in those positions is really my personal optimal way of working. I recommend for you to kind of figure out what works best and uh, make sure that you're not sacrificing comfort uh, at the expense of a little bit of cost. The same is going to go for your other peripherals as well. Make sure you get a good table, nice comfortable table, maybe even a standing desk. You want to get one of those someday. Um, you're going to want space for a notebook to, to jot things down, kind of work out your thoughts, maybe draw diagrams of what you're going to try next. Uh, you're also going to want a really comfortable keyboard and mouse setup. This is, this is probably the most important thing besides your monitors being set up well and your, your chair being at the right height is having your keyboard and mouse in a good position. And one of the ways I like to do that is I use one of these wrist guards here. Uh, so I put that in front of my keyboard and that sort of forces my wrists to be upright. Uh, it doesn't allow me to sag my wrists and rest them on the table. I have to keep my wrists kind of at a, a level uh, uh, elevation to the keyboard. And in terms of mice, I really like using um, this mouse here. It's, I'll link to that in the description. This, this thing is amazing. Essentially what you can do is, this isn't a laser or a trackball mouse. You can just leave your hand in a stationary position like this. And then 
you're going to use your finger to kind of move the ball around. So your stand, your hand can uh, stay completely stationary, and that's huge in my opinion for ergonomics. Yeah, so these are these are a couple of my pointers for having a, a comfortable workstation for hopefully sitting in your chair <laughs> studying machine learning for for blocks of hours at a time. Uh, that's that's really what, in my opinion, you need to do to get your brain to understand some of this stuff. Um, and you know, good chair. You're gonna want a comfortable keyboard and mouse setup, a good monitor setup. Um, you're just gonna want a good workstation that you're gonna wanna feel like it's at home because the things you're gonna be reading about are gonna be very <laughs> uh, uncomfortable to wrap your head around. Anyways, so that's about all I have for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in and listening to my ergonomics spiel. <laughs> if you want any specific advice about, about ergonomics or about anything machine learning related, please feel to reach out to me. I'd be happy to offer my two cents to you. And thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.